Hello there everybody and thanks for tuning in to another video here on Armor of God. I know I've shared a lot of videos about the demonic attacks, identities of certain demons, and so on in this channel recently. That doesn't mean I'm trying to get us to focus on the demons. Instead, it is about knowing that the threat is real and those are the hidden enemies we are facing every day in our lives. At this point, I don't really care what atheists have to say whether the typical argument of hey, it is the 21st century, no longer the Middle Ages, or this is just complete nonsense. Say what you want if you refuse to believe, but for those who do, here's something we have to always remember. God is real, the demons are real, and Jesus died on the cross and resurrected to save us from our sins. So in this video, I'd like to share a reminder by Father Vincent Lampert about God, which is very important for us to remember. A lot of people today carry with them a misconstrued conception of God, even when it comes to prayer. There are a lot of people who believe that prayer is something that we do in order to convince God to do something that God otherwise would not have done if we had not prayed and that somehow prayer is what we do to manipulate God to get what we want. It's like a child manipulating his or her parents in order to get what they want. And when that doesn't happen, people say God is dead. But I think what they're really saying is, God did not fit my concept of God, therefore God is dead. What concept of God do people really have? I think sometimes we have this notion that God is a puppet and we have God on the strings and we can get what we want from God. Or when people say they have a, a miracle that they were cured of cancer. I certainly think that God can do whatever God wills to do. But when people speak of miracles, you know, how do you respond to people who say, well, you got one, why didn't I? You know, your child got to live, but my child died. That's a really dangerous place to start going because, again, you're saying, well, obviously I got the miracle because I'm a good person. God favors me. You didn't because you're a bad person. The reality is that there are a lot of bad things that happen in this world to a lot of good people. And I would say that, from my perspective, God does not cause the pain and suffering in our lives. God gives us the strength that we need to go through that. You know, in the Psalm 23, you know, walking through the valley of darkness, God never promised that we wouldn't walk through darkness, but he did promise that we would not be alone, that he would be with us at our side. And he also promised that the darkness would not be permanent. Because when we believe the darkness in our lives is permanent, I think that's when we abandon all hope. And, you know, as a priest for, you know, 30 plus years, a lot of times at a funeral, people will say to me, Father, as difficult as this is, I don't know how I would get through it if it wasn't for my faith in God. Mm. So again, it's the notion that we as humans are going to experience pain and suffering in this world. But it is our relationship with God that gives us strength and helps us to make sense out of it. Catholics would say that there is redemptive value in suffering. People might walk into a Catholic church and say, why do you have a crucifix? Why is Christ still on the cross? Don't you believe that he's been raised? But the purpose of a crucifix is to remind people that in the midst of our pain and suffering, when we look at what Christ has done for us, there is redemptive value in suffering. Otherwise, Jesus on the cross makes no sense. So what Christ has done for us on the cross allows us to approach the tree of life. And in that approach to the tree of life, we no longer have to worry about what the devil is trying to do to us.